Six more days till Halloween. Can you believe it? I can't. Ghost witches and even Batman may soon be knocking on your door. All right. Do you have candy? Do you have your candy bowls ready for trick or treat? I always do like the the, the small ones, like the variety, because yeah. I start picking them out of myself. All right. Christina Tetro is live uh, at Abigail's Candy Shop at Sierra Vista Mall. It's a new spot. Hey there, Christina. Now, I'm also getting ready for Halloween, and what better way to do that than with candy? We are here live at Abigail's Candy Shop. Now, you, we're, we're live uh, here at Sierra Vista Mall. You may wonder, what's Abigail's Candy Shop? It is the former Pals Candy Shop with a beautiful new name. I mean, take a look around. You remember this place. There is There are colors lining the all of the walls in here. I'm joined live with Scott, one of the owners. Scott, go ahead and tell us what is Abigail's and what's the best thing that you guys have in here? Good morning. Uh, well, Abigail's is an old-fashioned candy store and the best thing we have is just the filling when you come in. People come in and their eyes get big and they bring them back to a place, a better place in time when they were young and they have a story and they feel like a kid in a candy store. I mean, that's literally what we're being this morning. We are two kids in a giant candy store. Yes. There is, I mean, <laughs> two kids in a giant candy store with giant candy. That's the best part. I mean, do you happen to know off the top of your head how many different candies you guys offer? We have somewhere between 4,000 4, to 4,500. Different candies? Different candies. I don't think that we're going to go hungry here this morning. No. So go ahead and tell us how long have you guys been around? We've been here in this location for 10 and a half years. And now, the, everything now being Abigail's, Abigail's also a very special little lady in your guys' life, right? Oh, absolutely. That's my daughter. Now, why name it Abigail's, and what does the store mean to you guys? Well, you know, it means a lot. Naming it Abigail's is I figured what little, uh, what little girl would want her own candy store. Now, later on, too, we're going to be doing some really fun things inside of the store, talking about a lot of the party opportunities you guys have, some scavenger hunts. But um, what are some of the top sellers that you guys have here? Right now, we're looking at the chocolates and the jelly bellies, but what's like an all-time favorite that people have? With all this stuff, it's really simple. It's the little caramel apple pops and warheads. Those are typically the best sellers. And those are two of the things that I used to eat as a kid. And the caramel apple ones, I think, are so funny because I remember those in school. If you did something good, you would have those caramel apple pops there's even some like right over here an entire bucket of them right over there man it is great so over 4,000 candies what's your favorite um they don't make my favorite it was the rocky uh, road peanut butter supreme bar and that went out a couple a couple years ago darn it well we'll find you another one here this morning and make sure to go ahead and stay with us because again we're going to go through i'm going to try to go through all four thousand of these candies see if we can put uh scott to the test here and we're going to be talking halloween seasonal candies as well as a scavenger hunt that you guys can do Ooh, that we, sounds fun and festive. She's going to be leaving there with a cavity this morning. <laughs> Definitely sparking our sweet tooth this morning. Thank you. I keep the dentists in business. Uh, exactly. <laughs> as long as those places are open, they're going to be in business. All right, thanks.